Cast your mind back as far as you can. And then go back even further into the recesses of your mind. What do you find there? Distant, faded and forgotten memories. Like watching reels of films roll around and around. Memories of those who loved you and who still do. Memories of larger than life characters who made you laugh or perhaps perplex you as a child. Now at this moment and for the next 30 minutes, we want to transport you way back before the birth of, about 800 years before the birth of Jesus. We are talking 2,800 years ago, before even the Old Testament prophets of Daniel and Jeremiah. And we want to introduce you to, or remind you of, a character, a real character, Jonah. Now Jonah lived in Israel during a period of relative peace for the Israelites. However, their very well-being was being threatened on a daily basis by the nation of Assyria. Most famous of all the Assyrian cities was Nineveh. Famed throughout all the lands for its violent tendencies and inhabitants. As in a city of 120,000 people. That suggests a hell of a lot of violence going on there. Jonah was a product in his time. And a character at that. And then there was the fish. How could I forget the fish? But now, I think I can hear Jonah making his way here. I'll leave the stage momentarily and in his most gracious presence. Please do enjoy to preach apprentice to them that they might be saved. In a stubbornness, he decided to travel in the direct opposite direction of Nineveh and flee the voice of the Lord. such as the Ninevites be saved. Jonah knew better, and his ticket to Spain was also his ticket to freedom. What's up? Make sure that we need to build. Make sure that we need to build. Come on! 
take their boat. In their panic, they each cried out to their own gods. I threw cargo over the side to life their boat. Jonah, as Christ did many years later, was let lead to his throughout the storm instead of the boat. Eventually, the captain realized that practice actually was needed, so he went out into the stern of the boat and wrote Jonah. Jonah! Jonah, wake up! How can you sleep through this? Oh, captain. That's a fun life there. Jonah! Do you not care that we're all going to drown? Come up one deck, must be drawn up. See who is responsible for kindling the anger of God who is wrecking his displeasure upon us in this storm. great mercy, he commanded the big fish to vomit Jonah onto the shore of the sea. Oh my! 
fought him all day, the Lord and your sins. Only 40 more days in the Lord drive in your sins. No! Only 40 more days in the Lord drive in your sins. No! What is God indeed? Men put to mere mortals. My people do as Jonah says. If the Almighty will change his mind and have mercy on us. The people of Nineveh heeded Jonah's voice, from the king to the least of them, right down to the animals. They will stop their wicked ways and turn to God. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy.